You guys ready? That's not empty. It's got some weight to it. That's an Xbox 360, one of those Kinect motion sensors. Oh, that sucks right there. That's not good. Movies and music. Music and movies. Oh, all right. Yeah, now we're talking. Here's some Xbox 360 and some original Xbox games. That's pretty gross. All right, that's pretty gross. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is very interesting. Look, it's got the spotlight in there. If you don't agree with me, please put in the chat what you think is funnier than that. That is a great movie. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, man, what's in this? I really don't know. I still don't know. <laughs> Drum roll. What's up, Locker Nuts? All right, bought another Locker online auction. Let me show you what I got. Here's the unit right here, 510 bucks. It looks all right. There's some boxes. A few more boxes there. It looks kind of decent. More boxes. All right, we got some tackle, maybe some fishing tackle box right here. The one previous right here, we, we do have some uh, fishing poles right there. That looks kind of good. And down here, movies and music. But I'll tell you the thing I like the most, the most, was that right there? Lionel. That's a train box, I think. So we'll see what's in it. That caught my interest. All right, so I got my camera gear. We're going to head over there soon. First, though, I got to go drop all these packages. This is all the packages from our auction last night. There are actually not that many packages because everything was a little bit small. Smaller items, but still, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good load there. So I'm going to drop that real quick. And then we'll head over to the facility. I've got about three hours right now before they close. So I got to run these errands and then get over there. Oh, and I got the Starbucks too. And uh, get that thing cleared out. It's an eight by eight. Shouldn't take too long. stuff all right are you guys ready here we are we're at the unit this is extra space storage not far from my house 510 bucks I paid for this plus fees so they charge 10% it's an online auction so that brings it to 561 dollars that I paid for this right here it's an eight foot wide eight foot deep well I'll just show you right now are you guys ready I think you are I think you are Let's see what's inside. You guys ready? Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, I know it's a little dark. We're gonna get the cell phone out and take you inside. I gotta get a little light on this stuff, but you can see it. You see the mattresses, but that's okay. There's a lot of boxes here, and a few of them look really interesting. Let's dive in. Okay, here it is. Here it is, we got the light on. We got the light on. Let's take a look around. Ooh, already we can see much more than we did in the photos. Oh, okay, well, um, yeah, that's a tackle box. This, I, they didn't even show this in the photo. I, I don't understand that, but, um, oh gosh, this is gonna be heavy. Guys, I'm gonna come back with my pickup truck for this, probably. All right, well, don't hold me to that, but that's probably what I'm gonna do. Got a little hand card here, that's good. I always like the dollies. There's the box we saw in the photos, music and movies. Hmm, that's interesting. Ooh, this is a good one right here, too. This is a, this is a really nice one, actually. Yeah, I like that, okay. That's a good one. Cha-ching! Well, it looks like we have a little bit more movies and music right here, including Matrix Reloaded. Oh, yes, I've been wanting my girls to see the Matrix trilogies. They have never seen it, so that's going to be good. Hopefully, all three of them are in here or in this locker because uh, I didn't really want to buy it online. So, okay, but here, 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 this is what we saw in the photo, and that got me interested. That's really why I dug into this unit. That's not empty. It's got some weight to it. Hopefully that's the Lionel train, but I'm hoping to find a lot more than that, right? We're hoping to find, ooh, that's an Xbox 360, one of those Kinect 
motion sensors. That's good. Video games is good. I don't know if this is sleep number. Bed legs. Sleep number. I don't know what that stuff is. What is this? Manual and rail looks? Locks? Leg bulbs? I don't know what that I don't know. What is this? What the heck? Sleep number? What is this? Do these guys sell sleep number beds or something? What's with all this sleep number? Oh boy, we got a mystery. Oh, that sucks right there. That's not good. I'm a little bit bummed about that, quite frankly. I really didn't want that. I, that did not get shown in the photos. So we have a few boxes here. I don't know, maybe a dozen boxes. A couple of them up here. I'm not seeing the 500 yet. These boxes hopefully hold some good stuff. And the sleep number stuff has me a little bit concerned. What's that right here? This could be something decent. Fairplane, Cortland. Huh. Hopefully this is some decent stuff. All right, guys, what do you think? Uh, I'm not sure what I think. Honestly, I don't really know what I think just yet. I'm going to have to pull out some of the boxes. But you know what? This is all part of the thing, isn't it? This is all part of the experience. Bidding that much money, $561, is, is a lot of money to bid. You got all that hesitation, like, oh, I don't know if I should spend that much. And then you get it, and then there's like a kind of a thrill, like, yes, I got one. And then you get here, and it's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I'll make my money back or make any profit for that matter. And then you find something good, and it lifts you to the moon. Let's hope that happens here. <laughs> It doesn't always happen, but it has happened. In fact, it just happened recently, right, with that guitar, that awesome guitar I found signed by George Strait and a couple other guys. That was amazing. Anyways, this is dark in here. It's very dark, so we're not going to be able to use that GoPro like we'd like to. So I'm going to just load all these boxes up, and we're going to take those home and go through them there. Uh, but I'll probably be coming back for a second load to get this furniture because it's way easier to do with my pickup. All right, let's start getting some of this stuff out loaded those are some nice tongs those are huge this is, let's take a little pixie okay there's an xbox 360 and some bookshelf speakers that's all right yeah that's a lot of mu uh, music right there looks like some movies down below that's good it's good stuff for our auctions Oh, look at this, guys. Train track. Cars, switches, etc. I think that's train stuff in there. Yeah, it says right there, too. That's good. More pillows. My blanket. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. That's not what I... Oh, sheets and towels. Dang it. That's not what I want to see. Yeah, more speakers. All right, that's a pretty good load right there. Let's see if that's load number one. All right, there's load one. Okay. What are these? <laughs> what are these? Sleep number. There's a bunch of fishing supplies here. Look at that. This mattress actually looks pretty decent. I gotta, like I always say, you gotta get it outside. Look at it in the sun. I see a little, well, quite a bit of dirt here that could have just been from moving it, sliding it around. No stains that I can see, but it's really hard to see in here. It's an empty bag. Kensington though, that's a nice laptop bag. Oh, I hope that's the microwave. It looks like a decent one. All right, that's load number two. Now, let's take a look at this. Bummer. 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 I like them when the drawers are full. All right, next load's ready.
right, there's load two. Back for more. Got another TV right here. That's good. I saw that pedestal right there and I thought there might be a TV here. Sure enough, there is. That's a Samsung. It's a little bit older, a little bit older TV, but it's still probably gonna be kind of decent. That feels like it's in there. Oh, this is not empty. This is almost definitely a plasma. It's super heavy. All right. That's another good load right there. I can't say it's good stuff, but it is a full cart, so. All right, and there is load three. Got most of the boxes on. So now I've got is the mattresses and the two big pieces of furniture and a couple little miscellaneous things, which I'll go up and grab a couple more things by hand, but I think I'm gonna take this home and start unboxing. All right, guys, that wasn't too bad. I think it was here for only like an hour. That's not too much between, you know, paying and uh them showing you the locker all that's dead time so that's not even loading so an hour not too bad now i'm on my way home and we'll go through some boxes tomorrow i'll have to come back for the furniture that's no problem though uh one thing i just wanted to mention it is a glorious day you can see i'm in a t-shirt and i'm starting to break a sweat it is uh very warm very warm my temperature in my car says 79 degrees can you believe that this is february 23rd <laughs> That's crazy. We're getting some good weather. It's All right, Locker Nuts, back at the Nut House. And uh, yeah, I don't know if I, that ride came through on the video, but such a pleasant drive on the way home from this particular facility. I go through the mountain right here. Uh, yeah, very nice. So it's starting to get dark. It's starting to get dark. It's about six o'clock right now. I got a little bit delayed. It came home to kind of a mess. Uh, turns out that there is a uh, scammer that has duplicated my page, stole all my videos and put them on his site on Facebook and is sending all the people who have commented, I think they're sending them like friend requests and asking them to come, uh, whatever, watch the, on their channel or something. It's very frustrating and uh, Facebook doesn't give us a very good way to combat that. A lot of channels are having the same problem. So hopefully they get that figured out here very soon. But in the meantime, shame on you, Facebook, for like, giving uh, scammers a platform to do that. It's silly. There's no way to. There's no way for us to contact anyone at Facebook, and there's no way for us to report a fraudulent page. Someone who's copying us. Crazy. All right. Well, anyways, um, let's see if we can plot a couple things. The TVs and stuff. I gotta get that stuff listed quick because I gotta. I don't want it sitting in the garage. Let's see if I can pull something out of this day before it gets too dark. All right. So much for that idea. <laughs> it's the next day. It's sunny out. Um, it just the night got away from me. Uh, my daughter wanted my attention. I had other stuff come up. So here we are next day. Let's get, I brought these in so I could do them inside at night because this room's well lit. What can I say? Let's, let's see what's in those boxes right there. Let's get on it. Let's get this show on the road. This is one of my favorite spots for unboxing because it's where we do our auctions. I've got quite a bit of lighting set up here and it's, uh, it's well lit. All right, 24 leg bolts. This is probably something else to deal with this sleep number stuff. Those look like remotes. It's right there, real light sleep number. I bet you the remotes have a value. I bet you they do. Oh, this sheds some light as to what we have. This is what we have. We found those four panels. I don't know if I showed it in the video, but we found those four panels. We found all these pieces. We're finding lots of pieces. So that's what it is, huh? It's a bed. Oh, there it is, okay. So that's what it looks like. Assembled, huh? There's a list of all that. They were definitely organized. Mattress Inflator. Select Comfort Corporation. Model SFCS01DR. What is this? I don't know. There's a bunch of bolts here. The inflator has really got me perplexed so uh, is this an inflatable mattress it looked like it was sleep number i thought it was something a lot more fancy upper end 
Right, well, anyways, next box. Movies and music, music and movies. You know, I like that I'm doing these right in this room here because we're probably gonna auction most of this stuff off. If you guys aren't sure what I'm talking about when I keep mentioning auctions, well, we do uh, live auctions right here in this room every Monday night, 5 p.m. Pacific, on our YouTube channel. Never been, definitely check it out. It's a lot of fun. It's fun just to watch, but if you want to buy any of the stuff that you see coming out, well, that's where we sell a lot of the better items that we find. Right in a live auction, you can uh, you can be a part of it. You can own some of this stuff. Boy, I'll tell you what, these CDs are in excellent condition. Usually find it with lots of scuffing on there. These ones are very nice. Little bit of scuff on the disc, but not much at all. These are these are good. Ooh, Talking Heads. More songs about buildings and food. I love the Talking Heads. <laughs> Look at this. Focus. Awakened Minds Incorporated. And it says right here, never listen to the CD while driving. <laughs> what? What? Are you focused or are you not focused? It's called clarity. Why can't you listen to this? If you can't listen to this and drive, hmm, maybe you need this CD. I don't know. Roy Orbison, Stone Temple Pilots. This is good stuff. Jeff Healy Band, Stevie Nicks. Yeah, we're going to make some good lots for the auction out of this stuff. Genesis, Beach Boys, The Doors, Blues Traveler, History Channel, Ancient Room, Home Alone, Ken Burns Film, The National Parks of Pearl Harbor, Jerry Suckheimer. Dang it, Jerry Suckheimer, why you gotta ruin Pearl Harbor? Great Explorers, Carly Simon, Jeff Beck, Led Zeppelin, Johnny Cash, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Oh, okay, I see something better in here. I see something better in here. Start with this, Grand Theft Auto 4, it's Xbox 360, more CDs, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Meat Love, Pink Floyd, Roy Orbison, yeah, alright, yeah, now we're talking, here's some Xbox 360 and some original Xbox games, including, ooh, this is one of my favorites, Return to Castle Wolfenstein, I like that game, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, a few more, Xbox 360 and Xbox, Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Conan the Destroyer. Yoga, Vietnam in high def, Ever After, MASH. Oh, look at that, season one. Lost in Space is a good movie. The River Wild, very good. One of the funniest movies ever. Come on, you guys. If you don't agree with me, please put in the chat what you think is funnier than that. That is a great movie. Here's another great one. Classic, classic. Men Who Built America, The Bible, that's good stuff. Something About Mary, also very, very funny. Beverly Hillbillies, oh, there's The Matrix. All right, me and the girls are gonna be watching The Matrix for sure. Okay, next box. This one says bottom two border wraps, two mattresses. I don't have too high of hopes on this one. I think it's more parts for the sleep number beds, that's my guess. Yeah, that's what it is. These are those. Uh, they're very, they're pretty heavy. They're definitely thick, thick, thick. It almost feels like this part inflates. Actually, I don't know, maybe this is what inflates here. It almost feels a little bit like rubberized. We'll have to look up those beds and see if those are really are anything special. And then we got this thing right here, Jack Lalane's Power Juicer Express. Okay, so this I did look this up on Amazon last night when I was carrying it in the house. I thought, let me just look and see how much these things sell for. I scanned this one brand new. This one's available on Amazon for $175. Okay, this one is not very new. You can see that already. See a little flick of uh, food right there. It's not cleaned 100%. <laughs> that's pretty gross. All right, that's pretty gross. I mean, they should have just cleaned it before they put it away. Okay, like that, like that. And like that, okay. It doesn't look like it'd be that hard to clean. I don't know what the value is on these. We'll have to research it, but if it's got enough value in it, I'll take the time to clean it and uh, sell it. I'll probably sell it locally, I don't know. All right, next box, this one says train tracks and cars. I'm excited about this one. I'm a little excited about this one. This one's got some potential right here. All right, yes. This is what we're looking for. These look like they're in really nice condition too. 
At least from what I can see right here. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is very interesting. Look, it's got the spotlight in there. Searchlight car. Okay, we'll look that up. That looks like it could be kind of decent. Here's another, there's a box car. CNO box car. All right, we'll look that one up. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Stuff spilling out in there. That looks like maybe it's supposed to be coal. Yeah, it doesn't look like that coal. Looks more like coal. You see it? It's a little dark thing. So we'll have to put that in a new bag and get it secured. Okay, this piece right here. That's pretty interesting. Another Lionel piece. Number 252 Crossing Gate. That's the part number. Oh, that's cool. Automatic Gate Man. Got the little gate man box there. There's the part number, we'll look that up. All right, here's a transformer. Yeah, sometimes it's worth a few bucks. Boy, that one, the, everything here looks like it's in excellent condition. Yeah. There's the part number on that one. This one's in upside down, but it's an Atlas O, ga o gauge. And there's the number 6201, another box car. Okay, now we've got these, uh, what are these called? These called switches, I forget. Sometimes these have some decent value. I don't know about the Lionel stuff, but I think we've sold these for around 25 bucks each. This one's easy to look up. It's number 5122 Lionel. There's 5121, okay, that's a different, I think just different direction, but it's a similar switch. Okay, now this says track wires, etc. Maybe it means tracks and wires, etc. I think that's what it means. Oh wow, got a lot of track in here. See all that? Oh yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Lionel, it says Lionel. I don't see any numbers though. It just says Lionel and there's a P. Looks like a P right there. I don't know if you can see that, yeah. But no numbers on this track. I know metal is better than plastic. I know at least that much from the flea market guys. They come out and say, oh, do you have any metal train stuff? Usually I said no, it's all I have is plastic. There's a lot of stuff here. There's some curved tracks over here. A lot of straight track. Um, probably what I'll have to do, I'd probably it's O-gauge, if the other stuff's O-gauge, I'll probably have to take all this out, take a photo of it all laid out, count how many of these and how many of those, and list it as one big lot on eBay. There might be $100 in track right there, for real. Next box. Is a big box. First up, we've got a coffee maker. Nothing too fancy there, Mr. Coffee. Okay, there's a power supply to the Xbox 360. Good, good, good. Is it WD-40? We always like finding that. Hmm. Very best of prints here. Waltz Cacheto. I don't know what that is. Girl from Ipanema. But this one says father daughter. I don't know if that's an album. What's interesting, I'm starting to notice about this. Uh, locker there's been no photos nothing personal that could either be because he already cleaned out what he wanted to take or it could be because this was just his extra stuff like overflow from the garage type stuff I don't really know nutcracker shout out to locker nuts here's that bag of fishing gear let's see what we got oh first of all here's a receipt for Bass Pro Shops okay they spent 32 bucks 32 bucks, not like super big ticket stuff. But what do we get? All right, that's what we got. We got some fishing line, three three things of it. Uh, power bait. Does this stuff go bad? Is there an expiration date? Because I'm going to keep that. It's brand new. It's never been open. I'll probably keep that when we go fishing this year. But there's three. This is what, four or five bucks each. Not big savings, but it's savings. Trout and kokanee. Magic gel. And there's a little tiny lure. He's a floating minnow. Also in that box, we saw this very early on when I was just poking around. This is a connect for the Xbox 360. It's like motion sensor so they can, you know, you don't need a remote. There's lots of games that work without a remote. Whoa, is that brand new? Nah, it's all dusty. It's been sitting up on someone's TV for a while. He just puts everything back in the box very nice. Keeps all his manuals and everything. I like finding lockers from owners like that. Also, I mean, I feel pretty confident this stuff's gonna work. I don't think this is the type of guy that puts broken items back in the box with care. All right, here's one of the reasons why that box is so heavy. That's a pedestal to a, probably a TV. 
And this is a DVD player, but it is not a Blu-ray. So that's important. Blu-rays, you'll get 15, 20 bucks. Old DVDs, players like this, probably five bucks. Another reason that box is on the heavy side. There's this RCA tuner right there. Huh, 500 watts, that's pretty decent. RT2280, home theater AV surround receiver. Well, I think there's some speakers. I think I saw some speakers. Maybe they go to this, maybe it doesn't matter. I'll have to look this up, see if it's got some value. Okay, next box. Got some more, looks like movies and music. Movies and music and movies. Spider-Man, Fireproof, Fireproof's a great movie. Robin Hood, U.S. Marshals. Oh, there's that Matrix. Got one more Matrix to find, then we got the whole series. There's some good movies here. A lot more music. Ooh, Fight Club. Okay, that was that. It's a short little box. All right. Let's see what's in these things. This, okay, well, yeah, we're gonna guess tackle, right? I don't think that's a big, huge mystery. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. A lot of stuff here, a lot of stuff here. Yeah, these weights have some value, I know that. Flea market, they're always trying to grab those weights. Try to get them from you first thing in the morning. I'm not exactly sure why. I might pull anything out that looks a little better, AKA clean, and put, maybe start a little fishing lot and do it in our auction. I think that's what we might do. So we got this reel right here, that's South Bend Classic 2. Maybe that's something, I don't know. We got these weights. And we got that bait in line. Uh, so yeah, maybe we'll make a nice little fishing lot out of it. I don't know, guys. If you're interested in this stuff, make sure you come to our next auction. There's a little cork bobber. That's nice. Now then, what's in this? I really don't know. I still don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm sure some of you know. What the heck is this? Oh my goodness, is this a chessboard? This is like a thick rubber mat right here. What? Get out. That's going to be cool if that's what this is. Look at that. These are huge. They're heavy too. Huh. Wow. I would never guess chess board. I was thinking barbecue tongs or maybe something for the lawn. Look at that. Chess game scorebook. <laughs> they never even entered a score. Maybe this has never even been used. I mean, it's pretty clean. Yep. There's the black pieces. Yay! This is actually pretty cool. This is this is neat. I like it. All right, now then, let's see what's in here. Um, this is what made me buy the locker, right? I saw this in the back. I thought, oh, maybe there's more train stuff. So, yep, and there was, right? But as I'm finding, the Lionel stuff isn't worth as much as some of the stuff we found in the past. Like the uh, LGB stuff is just super, super um, expensive and collectible. Yeah, okay. Oh, look at that track layout book. Mm, maybe we should sell this with the track. There's the locomotive right here. Santa Fe. I really don't think you played with these very much. They look like they're in very good con condition. Little scuff scratchies right here. That's like the only thing I see wrong. Okay, so we got the locomotive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars there. And those are kind of cool. Um, this book looks old. The box looks old and the book looks old. Let's see if I can find a date. Well, this book is dated 1971. That could be... That I mean, this looks like 1971. All right, so, hmm. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. That could be a decent find. I'll look this up. Hmm. Neat. All right, we're going to do the rest of it right here. All right, because I don't want to drag all these big boxes in. Most of this stuff here all has to do with that sleep number bed. We got these panels, little legs, second mat. That says first mat. That box we looked at, this has foam in it. So this is all to do with that bed. Quite a bit of stuff for the bed. And I'm still not sure what I'm doing with that bed. Here's a nice Tupperware right there in a pot. Probably just donate those items. And then right here, there's another sleep number bed brochure. Some organic cleaning stuff. Wood polish, leather conditioner, spot cleaner, stain away. 
All right, and then we have some sheets here. A whole bunch of sheets, and they feel like they're high quality, and the bag's actually pretty heavy. This right here, this um, air filter, it's an ion filter, Ionic Breeze Quadra. I don't know if there's value in that, Ozone Guard. It looks a little, like, yellowed, this side does yellowed up here and it fades down to the natural tan color down there uh and that's probably from sun beating down on it but these are kind of cool you just take a damp cloth and wipe those down the ion blades very easy to clean and i think those are actually pretty effective this right here i know what this is because we own one of these having a two-story house with the kids bedrooms upstairs it's an emergency ladder escape ladder if there's ever a fire they can get out the window they get out the window safely, I should say. <laughs> you can always get out a window, you just can't do it safely. There's, uh, it looks brand new. That's good. All right. This one, yeah, we already looked in this one. Okay, so we got the Xbox 360. Let's pull that guy out. These little speakers. Energy is the brand. Energy. And I see another Energy one right there. Energy. Take two, it says. Two little bookshelf ones. Probably a center. And this is probably the subwoofer. Uh, we've got some good cords here. These are monster cables. It's good quality stuff. All right, this uh, box here says sheets and towels. Sheets and towels. Let's confirm. Oh, no, there's some other stuff in here. Okay, there is definitely some other stuff in here. Cabbage patch. So this is a later model one. It's not one of the 80s. This is a later one, I think. <laughs> Still funny. Still funny. All right, a bunch of baby stuff in there. Toys, decent toys. Jeez, should we be keeping this? We got a little granddaughter coming. And these look very clean. VR Tech Move and Crawl Ball. Oh man, I might have to keep this ball. This is good stuff. Look at this. Mm mm mm. Grandbaby inbound. That might be a keep a box right there. I know what Jana's gonna say. She's gonna say, new. Nay, but I don't know. I'll check with her. I can always sell it later. A little decoration for the wall. Oops, sorry. Just knocked the tooth out. <laughs> Just kidding. A little racquetball racket. Aerodynamic Wilson. It does not seem like a new one. The handle's all dried out. Staff Pro, oversized. I think that's racquetball. It's not tennis. Okay, more just decorations for the home. A little book, puzzle. This kind of thing. What's this? Ooh, this is nice. It's metal. Little horse decoration. Huh, nice. So anything else hiding in here? Is a brand new towel. Yeah. Nothing else. All right. And then also I forgot about this. I put this in here. I didn't look at it fully yet. That's a nice little model. It's not big. 22 inch, that's actually looking really small these days. 22 inch used to be humongous back when, well, when I was young. All right, well, it does look used. I was hoping it was new in the box because that would be an easy sale, but that's still a few bucks if we sell it. It's also good to uh, just hook it to your laptop and have a bigger monitor. All right, we got this box here. And that box there, and that's about it. Pillows, really? Come on, we're not gonna go out like that. Where's the jewelry box? No pillows and blankets. That's what we got, dang it. And the last item. Drum roll. Feels like a microwave. Looks like a microwave. It's a microwave dinner. That's what it is. Not new. I see little food stains on it too. That's a decent sized microwave. 1.1 cubic foot. It's bigger than the one we have. I don't think Jenna's going to want to upgrade, but I'll ask her. If not, microwaves, I put them on uh, Facebook Marketplace. Usually 20 bucks. This one looks actually pretty good. And maybe clean a little food off of it. As long as the inside's clean, maybe 25, 30 bucks. Easy, easy sale. All the time, microwaves die on people. And uh, right away, they're like looking for a new microwave. Like the minute it dies, they're on Facebook looking for a new microwave. Happens all the time. That's how we're going to sell that baby. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this unit. Unfortunately, 
the story comes to a close because we're out of boxes. And as of right now, I'm also out of units. I don't have any more lockers to go through, but I think in like an hour, hour and a half, the first of many units today closes through the online auctions. So there's a bunch I'm bidding on today. There's usually like three different days of live auctions. I go to the facilities around here. All of these facilities are closing their auctions on the same day online. So frustrating because it, it really jams me up and they give a 48 hour window to clean out. So there's only so much I can do. It's unfortunate if they spread it out, I could buy more. My goal is to pick up at least two. We got to get a little bit of overflow here. I'd love to get a bigger locker too. These little ones, they're fun. They're easy, but they don't last for long and they don't give us much stuff. This one, for example, didn't give us that much stuff that we're going to auction off. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for auction items. We got some CDs, we got some movies, we got a few video games, maybe some fishing, but these items are too big. The TVs, the sleep number bed, this stuff's too big. So um, not that much auction stuff. So I'm gonna be on the hunt today, which means another video will be coming up soon. But hey, maybe the next one we buy is the home run, right? Hit it out of the park, Woo! All right, we'll see. This one wasn't a home run, but this was still a fun adventure. And I hope you guys had fun watching it. And thank you, thank you, thank you, as always, for going on the adventure with me. I so appreciate that you watched the videos, all right? The next one, hopefully, will be out soon, all right? Very soon. We'll see. No promises, but I'm trying. I'm trying, guys. Gotta buy some lockers. Today, that's my goal. So we'll see you soon enough. But until then, good luck to you, God bless you, and we'll see you next time here on, right there, Locking It. All right, guys, just an hour or so later, I've got one. This is the first peak, first peak of what I bought. Look at this, $1,510. Look at that. I see lots of leaves. It looks like it's been sitting a while. This is a 10 by 30. It is packed.